Now it's pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to it. It'll take a, a little while to get to know you all individually, um, but that's going to be the first big process. Find out what's driving you individually, how much, uh, how, how much you want to succeed, what you want to get out of your footy and work out how we can help you do that. And in the meantime, we'll find out what, as a group, we want to achieve and what we're prepared to put on the line to achieve that. So, yeah, it's exciting. I'm looking forward to getting to know you all. Pre-season starts when for you guys? 20th, 23rd? 23rd? Yeah, the old blokes know definitely when they start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The younger blokes wait to be told, but no, nah, that's good. I think he, when he came on board, we all straight away saw um, quite a caring side to Woosh um, that I probably didn't realise prior to that. He, um, having that year off in 2016, he was someone that really made sure he was checking in um, and seeing how we were going throughout that year. And also, I think uh, having him there to um, share his vision for where the club was heading and reinforcing the um, you know, the strengths as a team that we had and get us really inspired to come back after that year um, and play footy again and enjoy footy, I think was um, really important. Um, and just talking to the guys throughout that 2016 year that were there, uh, how much of a, uh, you know, a stabilising, uh, mentoring role that he played on a lot of those guys. Um, so, I th you know, super grateful that he came into the club at the time that he did and um, he set up some really strong foundations um, for you know, the performance and culture going forward as well. So, um, yeah, he's been super. Um, look, a, a massive thanks to all the support from you guys. Um, truly means a lot. And uh, to the coaching staff and the, the greater club as well. So, um, look, I'm really excited about um, you know, what, we can, what we can do this year. Um, yeah, from my point of view, I just want to really empower everyone in this group to to take ownership of this club as well. Um, you know, I'm gonna need every one of your support um, as captain of the club and um, look, everyone needs to start driving standards, um, bettering each other from Pidge you know, through to Cal, um, feeling real ownership of this club. So really excited to see what we can bring this year, boys, and um, love you all, let's do it. Yeah, taking over the role as captain in 2017 uh, from Job, um, obviously a tremendous honour from my point of view and um, very proud to be able to lead the team. But um, you know, having Wooshy there as a previous captain of a successful club um, was you know, really important for me to be able to bounce things and feed things off him and um, I guess drive the, the playing group um, semi together in, in where, what we wanted to create and where we were going in the, over these next, those next few years. Um, and I, I think what really stood out for me was just his ability to be so measured when he's under the heat and under the pump and um, you know, he's, he's, the way he's able to just handle and manage situations I was super impressed by. Um, and the standards that he sets, uh, you know, not only on himself but um, I think the group uh, really, really stood out to me and, and that's something that I, I really helped my leadership going, okay. This bloke stands for something pretty powerful and um, th that resonated quite well throughout the rest of the playing group as well. Last time Joe Watson ran through the banner, he was the captain. His bombers are back with a new captain. Das, I've never quite heard a roar like that one. No, I think that's it's huge. Trying to manage um, one, you know, performance standards, these type of things, but also just getting a bunch of guys that have had a year off footy come back and just really enjoy footy again um, and create an environment where they can thrive. Um, and I think he did an amazing job at that. Um, yeah, and, and, and he found a really good balance of driving strong standards and focusing on performance, but also that environment of, of joy and guys really um, loving each other's company and um, having a fun environment to train and learn and grow. look from the outside, I think you've got a pretty good read on Bush, but um, he's just the most committed and driven bloke I think I've ever seen and ever met. Um, he's got a bit of sickness in the way that he uh, has to be the first one at the club every day. Uh, he's the one that turns the lights on and he's crunching out ridiculous sessions in the, 
you know, the altitude chamber. Um, and so by the time you get to the club thinking you're there early, getting prepped for training, he's smoked a couple of hours worth of exercise. Um, even on this trip here, you know, like morning after games, he's, you know, he busted his calf you know, not long back and all of a sudden he's just punched out two half marathons within the week, uh, running up mountains. This kind of stuff that he has, this just general drive and you know, dedication within him to get, you know, to, to want to achieve something. You know, and, uh, I think that rubs off on the group quite a lot as well. Um, but he's also got a real, uh, you know, a great sense of humour, um, a funny bit of wit, wit about him, and um, yeah, I think he's, we've seen the best sides of him um, in these last couple of years. How do you show leadership? Uh, just, uh, just tell us jokes. Yeah, yeah, that's legend. Yeah, Did you, you got any jokes? He's got, he's got all the jokes. Yeah, he's got terrible yeah. jokes. He's got terrible jokes. <laughs> nah, probably just, you know, just, yeah, just communicate. Yeah. You know, leadership is uh, being enthusiastic, yeah, having exactly. a smile, yeah. looking forward to trying. That's showing yeah. leadership. So it's so many different things, you know, it's amazing. Sometimes people think leader, you just have to be the loudest person, talks about everything, but nah, it's the actions. And... Yeah, I'm mic'd up, yeah, I'm up, yeah. Langford, come here, I've got to tell you something. Hey, early strike. So as soon as that ball goes in there high, you're in, a, you're in full offense. Doctor, you you get in and try and beat him in. Yep. There, you're giving him a bit of a head start, but if he crumbs it, I want you to tackle him. Otherwise, you get in fast. Don't you start. Hey, you look good. I'm a, I'm, he's asking me who's training well. You want me to give you a pump up or not? Well, don't say anything. I think that real dedication and commitment to a cause, to, to achieve something powerful together as a group, um, I think is something that, that he's instilled quite a lot. Um, and uh, just r driving really high standards um, amongst the group to create a culture that's going to last a long time and not just be a fleeting moment. You know, you can tell though, he's one of those guys that you know how measured and cool he can be, but you're also on edge as well that you know that this bloke could you know flick the switch at any moment and uh, when you do get a serve you know you bloody well mean it so um, there's been a couple of occasions where he's ticked over but uh, certainly well deserved you know what your best we look like we all know what our best we look like individually you reckon you've got a fair idea of what it looks like have you written a plan about what your a game looks like do you assess that post game and say, how did I go against the way I want to play for this team? Against how I'm going to help this team be a good team, like bringing my A game. Take ownership of it. Sit down with your coach and go and say to him, I've got to get better in this area, how are you going to help me do it? Right, I want to do this to get better, and this is what I'm going to do about it. I need you to give me this. And if you're not, why aren't you? You want to be average? You know, oh, it's a tough year, I want to live in an hotel, can't see my dog. Where's your mind at? Where do you want to be as a footballer? When you run out two hours on the ground and then when you train two hours a day. Alright? I reckon we're just sliding along going, we're going okay. Do we know where our positions are on the zone? Like the truck puts it up every week. I don't see blokes sprinting to get in position. Brutal game, boys, because it's the elite level of your sport, your chosen sport. There is no high level. If you want to be the best, you could work out a way to be harder and better and train more than those other groups. Yeah, I, I feel this is this little phase of uh, what do you call it a transition of the coaches over this next period. I feel it's. Um, worked out really, really well, Wush playing that mentor role for Truck and, um, you know, Truck really feeding off that as well and, you know, Wush also empowering Truck to have that space to be able to drive the group forward, I think it has been really important, so um, I think they've handled it, couldn't have handled it any better, the both of them, um, and, you know, they're really excited for this next phase as well, um, and no doubt Wush will still have uh, some input from wherever he is, um, and he'll always be there to reach out to as well along the lines, but um, it's an exciting journey that we have ahead. Um, set up, I think, some really good foundations over the past with under, under Woosh, and um, yeah, now ready to go with uh, Truck at the helm, and uh, looking forward to see what we can do.